What is going on guys? Welcome back to another one dumbbell home workout. So if you are stuck with one dumbbell, this workout is perfectly suited for you. Today we're gonna be going through, like I said, an arm workout. I'm gonna be demonstrating each exercise and we will be doing a full workout along with you guys. There is a list down in the description that you can see the exercises if you were just here for that. Uh, but if you wanna do the workout with me, continue on. We're gonna do this whole workout. We're gonna get started here. I have a 10 second timer. I'm gonna be doing each exercise for 30 seconds, followed by a 30 second rest. So if there's single arm exercises, which there will be because we're doing an arm workout, 30 seconds one arm, 30 seconds the other arm, rest afterwards, and then we'll move into the next one. So this in total is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different exercises that you can do. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this timer started and we're gonna hop right into this. First up is the hanging curl. So for this movement, you're literally going to bend as if you're doing a bent over row. Keep your arm straight. Come all the way down, let your bicep fully extend. Squeeze the top. Return down nice and slow. Don't let the weight just drop. Make sure that you're actually controlling this. Elbow should stay in place. Very minimal movement. Switch arms. So same thing. and rest. So not too bad, definitely more tension than if you're doing a standard curl because of the hanging motion. I really like those. Next up is going to be a cross body curl. So I've done these in previous videos, but this is a pretty good, this is probably one of my favorite bicep movements. Even if I'm at a gym, I love doing these. So again, 30 seconds each arm. So start with the dumbbell on your side. Bring the dumbbell up to your opposite chest. If you're doing the left arm, bring the dumbbell up to your right chest. Elbow should remain in place. Only your forearm and wrist are doing this movement here. Which I get a crazy, crazy pump on these. Squeeze. Make sure you squeeze at the top. That is crucial. So we're only two exercises in, and quite honestly, my biceps feel like they're gonna explode already. Next up, we're gonna be doing cross body extensions. So you're gonna need to get down on the floor for these. And you're gonna lay down on your back. I'll turn the mat here. So hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. So start with the left arm. Place this right above your head. You're gonna hold it right, right here. Drop this, cross the body, back up. Again, the only thing moving is the bottom half. Your elbows might move slightly, but they should not be moving a ton. This is a difficult movement with the heavier weight. So if you have to go lighter on these, no shame. Even for me, this 25 is a little bit heavy, but it's all that I got. So making it work. Switch. And the good thing about these single arm movements is you get to strengthen each arm individually. Whereas when you do something with two arms, usually one arm is gonna be stronger than the other, which my right arm is definitely 
stronger than my left. And rest. So next up is the single dumbbell tricep press. So again, we're gonna stay down on the mat for this. And it's basically skull crushers holding a dumbbell. So if you're familiar with skull crushers, these are gonna be very, very similar for you. If not, just keep watching and show you exactly how to do it. So we got five seconds left. You wanna hold your dumbbell right here. Lay back down, place it above your head. Your hand's about right here. Make sure you have a good grip on this. Bring this down and up. So this should be the full motion right here. When you get to the top, try not to lock out. Go to right before you lock out to keep constant tension on tricep. And this is a great, great movement for the tricep. And rest. So since we only use the one dumbbell for both arms on that movement, it's just 30 seconds on there. Next up is the squatting preacher curl. So these are very similar to the hanging curls that we did to start, except we're using our knee to support ourselves. So it's like you're in the gym doing a preacher curl, your knees are gonna be acting as the bench. So here we go. Those probably get me the best pump so far. So there we go. Try to keep your back straight, bend over a little bit. rest. I think those are my favorites so far. Next up is the overhead extension. So this is going to be using obviously a single dumbbell, but we're going to be doing both arms with the single dumbbell. So just 30 seconds here. And you've probably done some variation of this before. So grab it here, slip your hands underneath, dumbbell back behind your head and up. And you can even get down if it's easier for you, if it feels better. Elbows should stay tucked in, close to your body, not out here, keep them in. and rest. One last exercise is going to be a standard single dumbbell curl. Again, each arm individually, 30 seconds left arm, 30 seconds right arm, and then we'll be done with this arm blasting workout. And if you dare to do more sets, more power to you. So here we go, we're gonna start with the left arm, just a standard curl. I like to do the twist. I know some people will keep it like this the whole time. Do whatever feels the best to you. For me personally, I like the twist. Whew. Feeling it, switch sides. And 
that is the entire arm workout. So what I will say for this workout, I'm out of breath, this was pretty difficult. So if you're feeling pretty winded, that's a good thing. It means next time, challenge yourself even more. If you've maybe got a heavier set of dumbbells, try out going heavier next time you do it, or keep track of how many reps you're doing. So let's say you did 10 reps on the crossbody curl. Next time you do this, try to do 11 reps in that 30 seconds, but keep your form good. Don't start rushing through it. I'd rather you do less reps with good form. So if you have to sacrifice your form to get more reps, try increasing your weight instead. But just aim to get 1% better every day when you're doing these workouts in some way, shape, or form so that you're not just doing the same thing over and over and over because eventually you will hit a plateau. But this is an awesome arm workout. I think it was eight minutes. So if you wanna do this two or three rounds, that'd be an awesome full arm workout for the day. And I know right now my arms are ready to explode, I feel like, so three would be excruciatingly good to do. But if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet watched any of my other workouts, I've got a dumbbell only playlist right up here. Check that out, I've got all kinds of dumbbell workouts. I've got follow along workouts that don't require any equipment that you can do from home as well. Thank you guys so much for working out with me. If you liked it, again, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next time.